All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are unboxing the Jaguar Wundi. This is Magicycle's folding e-bike. 600 watts, uh, Bengal brakes. Um, looks very familiar to some other e-bikes. We also have the Lion watching over its uh, counterpart coming out of the box. So let's open the box. We'll get it this pulled out and then we'll see where we're at from there. So it did have a strap around it. So as we open it up, as usual, we have the box of uh, accessories. All right, we've got the razor blade. We'll just open this box. Looks like there's another box in there as well. All right, so we know what this is. This is the charger. Uh, looks like the same Magic Cycle charger. No, yeah, maybe. Yeah, same charger as on all their other bikes. All right, here's your instruction packet. Your pedals, some Yao white gloves to install, Yao white gloves, uh, toolkit, and uh, looks like a light. I'm assuming, yeah, that's a light. Okay, everything else looks like it's attached to the bike, so we'll just pull it out and we'll set it down and move the box. How's that sound, guys? Yep, gotta look up to make sure the recorder's still going. set the bike there, make sure it's still in frame from the back camera, it is. It's interesting, I uh, rearranged some of my, my uh, toolbox drawers. I'm going to have two toolbox drawers for uh, bike tools, because this is what I do mostly now, guys, is this bike stuff, so may as well have those tools close to me. So now I've got it out of the box. I've cleaned up a little bit of my mess. And all I did is I'm raising this. This was in the down position. This was like, like down. I just rose it up. And then this switch is a little unique. You gotta push it in and mush it a little bit and then it'll come into place just like that and lock in. So one thing for you guys to know uh, is when these come, this should be on. Don't touch the rotor with your hands uh, because you'll put oil on and create a problem for yourself. Uh, always have a squeaky brake. You'll never get rid of it. You, you can get rid of it, but why give yourself that problem when you can avoid it by not touching? And that is one reason the white gloves are there. All right, so I got this off. That's a nice little... Uh, protective thing there. I am going to wear the gloves because just in case there, there might be something here I might touch and I don't want to touch them. Uh, bike comes fairly clean so I'm not worried about the bike. I'm a little cramped with room guys. I don't know if you can see it. I can show you on the 360 real quick. Uh, and I may or may not show it but I have my wife's car in the garage. So that creates a little bit of a space problem for me. Now you can do this any way you want to. I just happen to like to sit and do it. It's easier for me. That should actually get it off. But be, there we go. But because I have to put it on the tire anyway, I'm just going to take it all the way off. 
Then on this side, it's going to come off as well. And there should be a spring here. I hear it. Be careful. Don't lose that spring. I do have another. So I'm a little less worried about losing it, but you won't, so don't lose that spring. Now the spring goes on like an ice cream cone, guys. You're eating an ice cream cone like this. That's the top of the ice cream. The bottom is the cone, and it goes on like that. You put the bottom of the cone on first. Then take our little uh, nut. And... Uh, Screw the nut on. You can do this while having this on the ground. You don't have to do it like I'm doing it, guys. And then I'm going to put this in. Well, see, it already came off. So all this is is a stand. Also, uh, I didn't tell you about this, but this bike is a black. This is the black uh, Jaguar Windy. And uh, I have other bikes. I thought they were black. They're not black. They're more of a dark, 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 dark gray. This is black. And it's a matte finish, so it's really pretty. Very pretty little bike. All right, so I've got that set up. Now there's two fenders on this bike you have to put on. One on the front, one on the back. This one looks like a back fender to me. And it is the back fender. And you know it's the back fender for a couple of reasons. You look at this, that's a back fender. Front fender don't look like that. So this will go back here when we're ready. Now I did a video back where I did another bike and I actually found it easier to put on uh, the bike and then put it on the skewer. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna, we're gonna do it this way. Now the other thing, I think these are hydraulic brakes. So I'm going to lift up here, and this is something you don't want to do if, uh, if you get one of these. It's a hydraulic brake. So do not squeeze these hand grips. Do not squeeze the hand grips uh, until you get the, the rotor on. So I'm going to turn it sideways a little bit because there is a spacer down here. And that spacer is right here. You got to pull that spacer out, or you won't get the you won't get this on. It'd probably help if you had finger grip. Here comes the spacer. There it is, guys. So, do yourself a favor and do not squeeze that brake handle while this is pulled. Let's set that on the ground. I'm going to put my glove back on and I'm going to repeat. <laughs> do not squeeze your hand grip. Do not squeeze your hand grip. You will hate life. Okay, there's a couple of ways to do it, guys. I think I'm just going to take the skewer off, keep your parts together. I'm going to set that there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up on, I'm going to put the wheel up on to the, the fork and set this into place, and then I'll throw the skewer on, on it the way it's supposed to go. Easier to do the last time I did another bike, and it just worked out really nice for me. So I think this is probably my future way to do it. There it is. Very easy that way. Then you're not fighting with uh, with the springs and how far you got to get it in and all that other stuff. And then you can almost look straight down and see that your rotor is, is uh, somewhat trued up. So then take Take one, take your nut off, take one of your springs out, shove it through the skewer, the skewer through the axle, and then uh, 
You could have had your kickstand down if you liked. Put the screw on, or the, the spring, and then the nut on. Pretty easy. This way, actually. Uh, it might be easier for you guys uh, to put your kickstand down so you're not balancing it with one hand and screwing this with the other. Um, worked out fine for me. And then all we're going to do is tighten this down. It's a little too tight, so I'm going to back it off a, a rotation. And as I rotate it, the other side's rotating too. So you see me do it twice. It's not because I'm really doing it twice. I'm doing one. There we go. And I think that'll do it. All right, and I can look down the caliper, and it looks good. The rotor is nicely in place with the caliper. Okay, guys. So just take your fender from the back side. And what we're going to do, we're just going to slide it up through here. Now, there's a plug in here. Just move the plug out of the way a little bit for now. Now, you're going to move this up to here. Just set it up here for a minute. And now you have a screw and a washer and a nut here. Actually, you got this on the front screw and a washer and then on the back you had a screw and a washer before you put that on grab your light now your light can go either on the back side of this or if you like it on the front you can put it on the front I personally like mine on the back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this put it right behind this hole put this on put the fender on and now as I do that, I'm going to take my light and I'm going to put it on. Now if you have a, a, a DW, a dear wife, and she'll hold that on for you, all the better. So I get that on and I'm holding that. And then the, uh, the Nyla nut. And just get it started. So the, the second smallest hex nut, I don't know what this is, uh, four maybe? And then we're gonna take that and we're gonna take, I think this is 10 here. And you're gonna hold the Nyla nut and you're just gonna tighten this up for a little bit. Don't worry that it's sideways. You're just gonna get it a little tight. Once you get a little tight, then you can straighten it up, square it up. Now, I think I'm one of the few that uh, do this kind of thing, and I know Magicycle puts out a video too. You should watch them all. There, it, it's, it's always good. You, you learn some tips from some people and, uh, and some tips from others. I like doing this kind of video because uh, it helps. It helps once in a while that you say, oh, how did he do that or how do I put that on? Just come back and reference the video uh, and, and you'll see. A lot of people just take them out and ride them right away. Uh, and I get that. I, these, these aren't the funnest videos uh, to watch or do, but, but uh, it's just something I like to do and, and I get a, a total enjoyment out of doing it. So. I'm going to move this up. There we go. And now I can access this. And let me give you guys a little hint too. Uh, on YouTube, if you go to settings, you'll see a speed setting. Normal playback is at, at normal speed. You can play it back at a faster speed uh, and get, get much more, uh, get the same content, I just talk faster. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't sound like chipmunk talk chipmunk talk. It just sounds like normal conversation just like I'm a fast talker. So uh, it's something that you should uh, try and I used to watch everything in normal speed. Then I started watching in high speed and uh, that's almost the only way I watch things. You know if there are, if it's a five minute video, I will absolutely watch it at slow speed, or if I, there's something I gotta glean off of it, I'll watch it at slow speed. But, 
ordinarily I watch all my stuff at a uh, one and a half. I'm getting closer guys, <laughs> it's slow. That, that bolt is longer than you think. Okay, that is actually good enough for now. I'm gonna put these two um, fender stays on and I think it's the same screw. Can you see me? Can you see me? Yeah. So we're gonna take this fender stay here off. We're gonna turn this up and we're gonna put it right on the inside, right between it, and then screw this stay back on. Okay, we'll flip sides. And we'll do this side. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it. Okay. So we will take this out. Okay, so the front is done, with the exception of a few little things. As you can see, if you look at my front fender, it's not even. So all you have to do is move this even. I didn't tighten that on purpose. So I can get this a little more even. I can adjust my light where I want. And now this is even. My fender space has the wheel just where it's supposed to be. Now I'll take my little 10 again, put it on the back. And we'll give it one more little tighten up. Okay. That's nice and tight. Not going anywhere. Pull the light down to where you like it. Probably something like that. We'll test that later. Then just take this that's holding, hanging down. It's in red. I think it's red. It looks red to me. Then you got your red cap. These should match. And uh, there's only one way they go on. There's an indent. Find that indent. Insert it. And there we go. So now the front's done. Okay? So now we're going to move up to the handlebars up here. And we're going to take a look here. Let me show you real close what I did. What you do on this, you got to push this in and pull this out. Push that in pull that out and then the handlebar goes down to bring it back up if it doesn't go up real easy right like so just push this in and that'll release the little lock mechanism mine came locked so and then you just push it back in and it locks that simple you got it and you, you want to use it so bad and you're jonesing to ride it what I would suggest as soon as you get it out of the box uh, Take this battery out. Take the battery out or start charging it. I have bad weather. I'm probably not going to ride mine today. Uh, and if I do, it'll be a little bit of ride. But um, start charging your battery. And then you'll, you'll by the time you're all done, the battery will be charged, enough, uh, charged up and you can ride it. All right, guys. So now what we got to do is put the back fender on. You take it and you move it beyond what you think is. This is not to connect to here. This gets rotated all the way down. Then this one will come here and fit in there. And then these stays will go where they go. But first we gotta take this out um, and lock that down. So I'm gonna lift that, pull this out, set it aside. Turn this in, unplug it, slide it off, and there's our battery, guys. Now, you want to know anything about the battery, I'll tell you what it is. This is a 52-volt, 15-amp, 780-watt-hour battery. So, something you instantly want to do when you get it is start charging it. So, now I've got room to play down here. So we're going to undo this screw right here. Yeah, my old 65 year old hands ain't what they used to be. So taking stuff off <laughs> with those little things 
you know, if I had to do it on a trail, I would, but right now I don't have to, so I, I gave up. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, almost out. And we are out. So slide this down right to there. Pull this over. And start screwing it back in. Now when you get close, I would move this much deeper into the uh, socket so, you, again, you give yourself space. See, otherwise it's going to be close. I mean, it'd still make it, but why do that? Why, why not give yourself all the space you can? Okay, that screw's done. Now we have this screw to do. So another thing Magicycle does really nice is uh, the 52-volt charger that comes with them. They all work across the board. They all work... Can you see my hand? Oh. All I was doing, guys, is I was putting this, this screw in right here. So this little clamp comes down. You just screw it in like so, tighten it up. So that's that one. All right, the next thing we got to do is the stays. Okay. On this one, we go here. Unscrew it and screw it back in. That looks about right. It doesn't look like it's putting any pressure on anything. Yeah, that's good. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Now we'll take this one off right here. You guys see it? Yeah. And then we'll twist it off. All right, guys, so that's, that's all of that. Now, the only thing left is putting the pedals on. So on these, just take them out of the plastic. There's going to be a left and a right side. See that R? That's the right side. So what's the right side to you guys? That side over there. What's the left side? The left side is the left side of the bike as you're riding it. Um, and I think these are non-folding pedals, I'm guessing. Uh, they look like non-folding to me. Nice grip on them though. They got a lot of nice rubber pad here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're just gonna screw it on. And this is a 15. That one right there. Bring it up close. Um, I don't have any torque settings on these. I don't have torque settings anyway, but I just kind of give it a nice little... Uh, there it is. Done. Yeah, these are, these are fixed pedals. They're not, they're not folding pedals. Fifteen. All right, pedals are on. Everything's on. Uh, the, I, I only see one thing that I don't have done, and I'm going to uh, jump up. We'll take a look at that. We're waiting for the battery to charge. Uh, okay, guys. The only thing I thought is this was not plugged into the uh, to the display, but it is plugged into the display. All this is is a uh, port, a USB port, so you could charge something or run your phone off of it or something like that. So the bike is complete. I'm gonna back up a little bit here. So besides having to clean up my mess, this is what the bike looks like. Uh, at first when I was building it, I thought, well, it's a little bit smaller here. I don't have the seat tight yet. I thought, well, it's a little smaller than I was anticipating. But it's not. It, uh, handlebars are tall, uh, taller than you would think. Um, as I sit on it, it sits nice. It sits really nice, actually. Oh, the bell is below. That's interesting. That means it's just flipped. So there's the bell. Uh, Comfort-wise, it's very nice. I think it feels really good. 
Um, you can feel the shocks very nice. Uh, I don't ride with set shocks uh, lock, unlocked. I usually lock them, so there's lock. I like that for me better. Feels like a very comfortable bike though, guys. So I'm excited to get out there and ride it. It looks good, feels good. Uh, nice little, um, nice little folding bike. I don't know how long this video is going to be going on, but uh, hopefully I can get you some, some nice photos of this, probably in the next video and a ride as well. But that's the basic build of this bike. It's taken me a little longer because we had this back to put on and uh, uh, just a little longer for me. All right, guys. Hey, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for joining me today.